in this video we will be looking at my 10 picks for the Triple J Hottest 100. So this year I've selected songs that I'm hoping at least two of them, I'm hoping that two of them will get me. And yeah, there's the whole squad, that's my uh, top 10. Last year was a disaster. Zero songs inside the top 100. My highest was Chanel Frank Ocean at 101. Oh, why, why did it end up outside the top 100? Oh, that's right, Man's Not Hot. People voted for Man's Not Hot. So that had me pretty pissed off, but Really, I shouldn't have been surprised. I still went too much down like the American hip hop lane. I don't know why I thought like Young Lean would make it. I have no idea. But anyway, um, all right. So after that disaster, I made a playlist on Spotify that I maintained all year, and it was just for songs that I would think would be in contention for the Hottest 100 for the for this for now. Um, and I maintained that. This I basically went through the Triple J hit list playlist on Spotify, picked out the songs I liked, put that into uh, my own Hottest 100 playlist, and um, yeah, a few days ago I went through it, filtered out the songs I didn't really like, and I've been able to get it down to just 10 songs that I am voting for. Um, so it should be a lot more successful than last year after that horror show, and. So, I'm not necessarily, by the way, I'm not, I'm not trying to pick the Hottest 100, I'm trying to pick songs that I like, that I, but I think will be in the, somewhere close to the 100. Um, I still have picked some songs that probably are unlikely to make it, um, but at least I'm, I don't want to say this again, but I think we should be able to get three, three, at least. That, that's, that's what I'm aiming for, that's what I was aiming for last time, but... Or I think I said two, but we'll see how we go. Um, I will admit I was also looking at the betting, the sports bet odds, um, just to see how likely each song I'd pick would be likely to make it. But anyway, I think we should be in better place this year to get some of my songs that I'm voting for in the hundred. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, we're here. Triple J, Hottest 100, 10 picks. This ice cream looks like it's lean ice cream. Alright, here are my votes. First one, G Flip, about you. So, yeah, Triple J, they played this all year. Like, this should... Like, I reckon it has top 10 potential. Th this is... About you is like my front runner. It's like my, my front running... Um, my prime ra race horse. That should um, be the highest for me. I th it can't possibly miss the 100, surely. Far out. Next one. All right. So I'm not I'm not sure about this. Um, I obviously I love the song "Better Not" by Louis the Child and Wafia. Shout out Wafia too. She performed this at my university. Um, but there is another Wafia song called "I'm Good" that might do better than this. So I'm not sure if this will get voted for as much. But I I, I like this better than "I'm Good," so that's why I voted for it. Next one, Confidence Man. You know, I had to have that Confidence Man in there. Yeah, this is really good, and I think Triple J um, liked that one as well, so hopefully that goes all right as well. It was all about, um, there's a few different Confidence Man songs, so not sure how that will affect it. Next one, Deep End. Yeah, I like that. It's a good song. Check it out. Next one, Riton and Carlo with Fake ID. They also had another song called Ginger that I could have voted for, but I like this one better. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't hear Triple J play this much, so I, I don't, not sure if this will make it. Um, but yeah, I had to include it. Baker Boy, I mean, they love Baker Boy. Everyone loves Baker Boy. Surely he will get in. Um, I think he had another song or two, but I think this might be his, might be his front runner. Khalid, I'm usually not a massive fan of Khalid, but yeah, I mean, yeah, with Black and Ty Dolla Sign. It was a good song. Good song. Brock Hampton. Yes, that's right. I listened to Brock Hampton. Not couldn't really get into Brock Hampton 
in 2017, but yeah, this year I, I like some of their songs. And San Marcos is one of them. Shout out to why I'm filming the music video for that in Melbourne as well. Um, and they also played that um, like a version, I think, on Triple J. So I reckon that it, yeah, it's all about really choosing the right Brockhampton song. I reckon, I reckon it should go close to yeah, I don't know, Dram. Yeah, I'm I'm not confident about this one, but yeah, it's a great song, so that's why I put it in. Um, yeah, next one and the last one, Charlie XX, Five in the Morning. Yeah, it's a bit, it's kind of the same with Dram. Like I don't think, yeah, it will get voted for as much. She, Charlie did get um with Boys. She got into the fifties, I think, last year. But yeah, it's, this is not there's no Boys. So anyway, that's the ten. We'll go we'll go close to three. I reckon. I think G, G Flip is just about certainty. Not sure about the rest. But anyway, that's it. Um, that'll probably be my last video for 2018. So, yeah, thanks for being with us. Yeah, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, I guess. And we'll catch you in 2019. Yeah, it's, it's been a good year. All right. See you in 2019.